play that down and go, oh, and just like, oh. Like you're, you're going out of that sliding, not necessarily to the next note, but sliding off of that note and making it, oh, oh. It's supposed to be that kind of, um, that kind of Asian feel, like Eastern music is what we're, we're looking for, is that kind of bending the pitch is what we're after. I would say this is on the easy side of great three. So what we really need to make sure that is in this piece that we really make sure we play it as super mature as possible. This can be our piece that really sounds really nice. So um, don't just take things for granted. Try to get everything, even the right read the first time through. Okay, get all those dynamic markings. Think about what your dynamic marking is, how it feels. Now, this doesn't work if we have some people who are timid and are like, well, this part seems a little tough for me, so maybe I'm gonna play it a little bit back further. But then you come to a piano and you're playing a piano, great, so you just brought our pianos up a little bit because you were contributing, and then you didn't contribute to our fortes, so therefore you narrowed our dynamic range, which doesn't work. I'd rather you miss notes, um, hopefully not playing out of tune, but missing notes is fine. Don't miss a note out of the piece, okay? Let's, um, it's my so so, so one. So one and two, da, one, two, three, four, so da, 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 Thank you. Thanks. Um, 47, 47, I want you to think in piano as in 
light, super light bow, couple hair, bow hairs, but full bow, okay? I don't want you guys cutting down the bow usage on pianos, okay? We're, we gotta get out of that habit of too much, you guys tend to use tiny bows. That's pianist. Okay, here we go, ready? One, two, forty-seven, two, and softly full bow. Because 
you're always fishing for notes, trying your best that you lose the musicality. You want to play things that are on your level. You do want to have some days when you play things that are above your level. I mean, there's always good to push your level. You play things that are under your level to make sure that you're working on the things that make you a good, well-rounded musician. Um, if you're just always pushing yourself all the time, you never give yourself the, the chance to progress on other things that are just as important, not more important. Because if you think about what, what did I always tell you is the, the thing that takes the longest of any musician to develop technically skills. What takes the longest? What? Tone. Yeah, your tone, your bow, okay? Anything that has to do with your bow is always going to be the difficult part. And playing stuff really fast, that's only doing one bow stroke, right? That's only doing your fast bow stroke, okay? You never get that big tone drawing those notes out using full bow. You're always just stuck in one portion of the bow. Okay, 77 is the end. Now we'll fix that. Ready? Twenty and a three and a three and four and one and two and seventy seven. One, two, three. Thank <laughs> you. 